Hey guys, this is Hunter from Hunter Works Outdoors. I just got done shooting an update video on our duck pond build that uh, me and my dad built a couple months ago. If you guys missed that or you would like to watch it, there will be a link in the top of the description so you guys can go check that out. Uh, but today's video is going to be all about hack and squirting. So last year I was at Mississippi State and I was doing some research on how do you get rid of invasive trees on your property uh, in areas that you can't get to with heavy machinery or you don't want to use equipment like a chainsaw to get rid of trees in uh, certain parts of your property. So I stumbled upon an article actually written by a professor at Mississippi State and it was titled Hack and Squirt. I actually scheduled a meeting with him. I went and met with him. He told me the equipment I needed to get and then told me the whole process. So what he told me was is that hack and squirt is a method of using herbicide within a squirt bottle or some type of injection method like this and a simple hatchet to go up to a tree, make a cut, and then squirt some herbicide in it to kill it. Uh, he recommended the time of year to do it would be now. Uh, today's date is November 7th. It's the fall time when the nutrients goes to the ground. Uh, he also recommended using a cow injector over a squirt bottle because a cow injector only puts a certain amount of milliliters uh, per squirt and per cut into the tree. Uh, the exact herbicide mixture we're using today, I'll include a picture here. Uh, it's going to be triscopir, amazapir, and water all mixed together. It gives us the ability to do one and a half milliliters per cut on a tree, and that kills two inches of a tree. So if you had a six inch tree with our mixture and this cow injector, you make three cuts, make three squirts, and it'll kill a six inch tree. I'm gonna go over here and demonstrate on one of these trees and then talk a little bit more about what invasive trees are and how unbeneficial they are to your property. All right, so depending on what area you live in, what part of the country you're in, there's some type of invasive trees that are not beneficial for the wild game that you're trying to hold on your property. Uh, specifically here in Mississippi, we are overrun with sweet gum trees and maple trees. So I'm standing beside a sweet gum tree here that is a broadleaf tree that has big old leaves uh, that prevent sunlight from hitting the ground. Now the problem with not getting sunlight to the ground is not having that photosynthesis starting to work from sunlight reaching desired plants that you want on the ground, uh, making good bedding and stuff for turkeys and deer, specifically in our area. You guys can see I've already hacked at this one a couple times. It's about an eight inch tree, so you wanna hit it about four times. I got one here, one here, one here. Uh, one here and one there. I actually hit it extra and I'm about to hit it extra again just for video demonstration purposes. The more the better. It's going to kill them regardless. Uh, but if you don't want to waste it, cow injector is the way to go. But the method is pretty simple. You just want to get your hatchet. We're using a 20 inch east wing hatchet. It has pretty good leverage and you want to make a good deep cut into the wood enough for your hatchet to stay in there preferably. And then I kind of pry open and go outwards so that you open up that gap a little bit. And then as soon as you do, I usually put it down the blade of the hatchet so it runs down the blade. And then as soon as it does, kind of go back up to the tree and then let off and it's gonna seep inside. Now, if you didn't feel like you get enough and you're not worried about the herbicide wasting some of it as much as we are, then you can kind of just squirt it inside of it and maybe get it a little more. Uh, another beneficial thing about doing this is that you do not leave trees just all over the ground. This is going to die standing up and over time it's going to decay. And by the time it eventually falls over, it'll decompose faster under the ground and you can come back in here and burn and then all of it will be completely gone. So that's what hacking squirting is. Hopefully you guys learned something. If you guys have any suggestions for me, please leave a comment down below. Also guys, check out our Instagram. I've been posting a bunch of stuff that we do weekly out here. I've been trying to do more videos with some projects, but it's kind of hard doing YouTube videos, uh, trying to do the project right and then video at the same time. But me and my dad are learning. Uh, definitely go check out the Instagram and stay tuned for more Penners Creek Farm videos here on YouTube. Thank you guys for watching. See you later.